Hey guys, it's Jacob King here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about, uh, I guess, broken link building, I guess some people call it. I don't know. I don't have time for that shit personally, but, um, you know, not enough blog posts and going on in my blog. So I figured I'd drop something quick, maybe a quick video for you guys and figure out how I would, uh, try to find broken links with Scrapebox. I feel like that'd be a little bit more efficient. So let's start with a simple just keyword in our keyword field. You could get really advanced and have something like in URL resources, links, get really like a customized query. So the more specific, more tailored and you can get these results that we're going to harvest, uh, the better because we don't want to be pulling links from shit. So especially some site that has a bunch of spam comments or anything like that. We want a real clean piece of content that we can extract some broken links from, right? So to make our data nice and neat. So what we do is harvest some URLs. That's plenty for point of this. Actually, no, I'd do a different query. Sorry, guys. Let's do, bear with me here. Let's do resources. A little elevator music while we're scraping. Okay, that should be enough. Now, I've never done this with Scrapebox. I'm going to use Gscraper to pull OBLs, so we'll figure it out here. Well, they have a broken links checker, so <laughs> we could just use that, I guess. I installed it. I just never really used it. Now it's checking, scraping all those links, going through and checking the status of them. Now, when I started making this video, I was thinking you could use the uh, status checker and there's an outbound link puller. So what you do is you'd scrape your results, then you would use the outbound link puller, pull all the outbound links. I would drop a little file on your desktop. Then you would import that, remove dupes, um, and then use the status checker and isolate the ones that were returning 404s. And there you can move from there. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Pretty simple. If you're doing this whole broken link game, I would imagine speeding it up a little bit, clicking through results one at a time might get a little tedious, just a little. So, yeah, keep your white hat. White hat game strong, everybody. Take care.